So, a while back I did a video on the top 10 dumbest rap lyrics that I've ever heard and it was a pretty well received video. It's got nearly 1 million views and a lot of likes, also a lot of comments telling me I'm retarded and I don't understand the lines and that Lil Wayne is the greatest rapper ever, but you know, it was, apart from that, it was fairly well received. Of course, with hip hop being the way it is, there are a lot more bad lyrics that we can analyse and there is more than enough to make a few top 10 lists. Also, I just want to drop this at the start of the video to see if I can get more of you guys on this, but if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at CDTV Productions. If you're a fan, I'd really appreciate if you could follow me there. With that being said, guys, this is CDTV Productions and let's get right into this list. At number 10, we have Dr. Dre on Ain't Nothing But A G Thing. Got my back, never let me slip, cause if I slip, then I'm slipping. No shit, Dr. Dre. <laughs> like, seriously, I love this song. It's a, it's a classic hip hop track. But Dre just made the most obvious statement I've ever heard there. I know Dr. Dre is saying you should never let him fall off, but surely there's a better way to say that than never let me slip, because if I slip, then I'm slipping. At number 9, we have Rick Ross on Fuck With Me, You Know I Got It by Jay-Z. Reebok song, I just do it, nigga. You, you know just do it is a Nike slogan, right Rick Ross? I know people are gonna try and defend this in the comments by saying, oh, he didn't mean to say Nike, he was just making vague shoe references together. I honestly don't think it is that way, he makes it sound like it's supposed to be a punchline, and this line becomes even more worse when you know that Rick Ross had a sponsorship deal with Reebok. Surely he'd know that's not their slogan. At number 8 we have Lil Fame on Half and Half by Gangstar. <laughs> Uh, Isaac Newton would be proud of that one. Surely Lil Fame knows that gravity pulls things down. It, it doesn't lift them up. Like, gravity pulls us towards the center of the Earth. So we can only assume that Lil Fame lives on the moon or something because gravity appears to work differently for him. At number seven, we have Gudda Gudda on Bedrock by Young Money. And I got a nigga. Grocery bag. Now this, this is one of the classic bad rap lyrics that pretty much everyone knows, even if they're not a rap fan. I would put it higher, but it's here because it could mean something, but I, I, I don't fucking know. It is the most confusing line in rap history because no one knows what Gudda Gudda is talking about. No wonder he's barely been heard from since then. By the way, it sounds even funnier if you listen to the clean version of the song because there's such a long pause between when he says, and I got her grocery bag it sounds so funny because it's just like and i got a grocery bag it's, it's it just sounds even more out of context than just senseless at number six we have lil yachty on broccoli by big baby dram not only is this a fairly offensive lyric by yachty it's said so casually on such a happy upbeat song you hear that beat and it puts such a smile on your face then two lines in you have yachty talking about columbine this is such a dumb lyric because it doesn't fit the song at all and the line preceding it is hey lil mama would you like to be my sunshine how the fuck did it turn so quickly into talking about school shootings. At number 5 we have Kanye West on Getting It In by Jericus. My apologies, are you into astrology? Cause um, I'm trying to make it to Uranus. Now when I first heard this line, I didn't think there was anything wrong with it to be honest. Then I thought to myself, wait, didn't he mean to say astronomy? Astrology is some weird shit about stars and the influences that they have on humans. Astronomy is what he most likely meant to say, as this is the science that deals with space. So if he just said that, the Uranus wordplay would make sense. When he says astrology, it doesn't really. Also, it's kind of it's kind of a childish joke, not gonna lie. Everyone made that joke in a primary school, so I wanna rethink that one, can you? At number four, we have Red Man on Five Burrows by KRS One. My paragraph alone is worth five mics. A 12 song LP that's 36 mics. This is one of those other classic lyrics with really fucked up math. If a 12 song LP is worth 36 mics, that means each song would be worth three mics. But before he says my paragraph alone is worth five mics, so is each song on that LP less than a paragraph long? A paragraph would be counted as a verse, right? So each song has less than a verse on it? This, this was just bad mathematics to be honest. At number three, we have Nelly on EI. I'm a sucker for cornrow 
toes and manicure toes. Hey. Probably what's worse with this mistake is that it was the first lyric that you hear on the song. See, it doesn't sound like on first listen that he made a mistake, but there is one glaring mistake here. A manicure is done on your hands. A pedicure is done on your feet. He physically can't be a sucker for manicured toes because, well, they don't exist. I know it doesn't seem like a huge mistake, but I hate lyrics that could easily be fixed with a quick bit of research. Just look up the definitions, change manicured to pedicured, and there you go, song corrected. At number two, we have Warren G on What's Next. I said, what's next, what's next, what's in X-E-T, it's me. I, I think what made me laugh the most about this lyric is the fact that the rap genius explanation for it is literally just a page long definition of dyslexia. Warren G is a legend, but how did he misspell next? Especially when the name of the song was What's Next? Like there's next in the name of the fucking song, Warren. Apparently he made a mistake and didn't want to redo it because it was such a good take of the verse, but I don't really feel like that justifies it. He could have just punched in at and spelled it correctly and kept the rest of the verse intact. If not doing a retake leaves a mistake like this in, then no matter what, I'm gonna include it on one of my worst lyrics lists. And our number one spot here, we have Jay-Z on It's Hot. Okay, come on Jay-Z, you almost had another nice bit of wordplay here, but you fucked it up. See, I thought it was fairly common knowledge about how the rotation of the solar system works, but apparently not. Jay-Z stated that the sun revolved around the Earth, when it's actually the opposite way around. If the sun orbited around just the Earth, there would probably be no other planets, because they'd just be destroyed by the massive fuck-off rotating sun orbiting its way around the Earth. I don't see any way how you could think that the sun orbits around the air. But at the end of the day, I'm not a multi-millionaire and married to Beyonce, so he's obviously doing something right. Well guys, that is going to be it for the video today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this extra video, and I hope you enjoy this new kind of thing I'm doing where I'm just kind of upgrading my content, and including my face as well as the clips of music videos. It just makes it harder to copyright claim, uh, it makes it more personal, and it's just a lot less tedious to edit. So with that being said guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Also let me know if you have any other requests for different types of videos, discography rank, fastest verses, all that kind of stuff, worst rappers in the game, let me know. With that being said guys, I've already asked if you can follow me on Twitter, so I'd really appreciate if you could do that or support me on Patreon. The links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'd also appreciate if you could subscribe and leave a like if you haven't already. And this is CDTV Productions, signing out.